Hey folks, Brian here. So I was gonna work on the line set today, but this is the one day this month that it's actually rained and it's also July 1st. So, but yeah, in the last three weeks, four weeks, it really hasn't rained, but it is now. So I was gonna run this along the front and then curl up, but I think I'm actually gonna run it back there. So I'm gonna very carefully reroute this uh, copper tubing and it, it stays flexible. Um, the smaller stuff is much easier to work with. But yeah, this is where I want to run it. Let me go look at something real quick and double check the direction of the fittings. Yep. Ouch. This is definitely the way I want to run it. They're gonna come in somewhere in here. And the only thing you really gotta watch is that you don't kink it. So we're just gonna bring it out here because it's gonna to have to be, that one may not require soldering. The, the, the big one's absolutely gonna require brazing or soldering. Um, the only difference between brazing and soldering is the temperature. Uh, soldering is below a certain temperature. And as long as you bend this stuff in small, There we go. So we're not quite there yet. <laughs> That's probably good right there. Except we've got to get There we go. And then we'll have to repair that. So you don't want any gaps. That will cause condensation, even in a spray foam house. And it's less about thermal and more about vapor insulation. So a small piece will do the trick. Good enough. I'd like to see this a little lower, um, so it's probably going to get a pipe clamp, and then it's going to come off here uh, more than, oh, you guys can't see that. So it's going to come off here. I'd really like to see this be lower. And in order to do that, I'm going to have to bend it. Yeah, 
this. So I really want it laying down. So in order to get that, I have to get it to come up first. Uh, and we're not quite as repaired as I'd like to be. So we fix that while we're up here. So in the previous system, I had it go up over the system and that wastes some small amount of electricity. So I'm gonna take that three feet ahead out of the system. And you know, there's probably somebody out there that'll, ah, oh, that, that doesn't matter. Well, actually it does. The compressor is still a pump and it still has to push the liquid up and you, you lose you lose flow when you go up and that requires more energy what I really need is a 2 by 4 but I don't have that so I think that'll work right there. So, uh, all right. That's kind of it for the moment until we can get the unit in here. So uh, I'm sorry that's probably not very interesting, but it's a nice short video. So thanks for watching. Remember to like, subscribe, click the bell icon and check out the playlist for HVAC because that's where I keep all this project. All the videos for that project are under the playlist HVAC. Thanks for watching.